Next, we'll talk about the understanding relative and absolute cell references. Relative cell reference is an example when we did our copy. Here we have cell equals B12 plus B12 times 0 0.2. When we copied this formula to C, you'll notice that the formula changed to correspond with the column that it was in. An absolute cell reference, the cell is going to stay exactly the same. If it references cell B4, it will always reference cell B4. It does not change regardless to the column you've placed it in. Now, to practice copying our formulas with relative cell reference, I'm going to click inside a cell B21. I'm going to select the Copy button. Then I'm going to click inside a cell C21 and Paste. You'll notice inside of cell B21, our formula now references column C. I can do this again with D and with E. Next, I'm going to click Enter. Now I'm going to total all four quarters together for Australia. So I'm going to click inside of cell F4. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the Auto Sum function. I'm going to select Auto Sum. And you'll notice that it assumes that you want to take the column in the row next to it because they're the ones with the continuous or contiguous numbers. If this is what you're wanting, you simply click the Enter button. We now have a formula inside of our cell. I can grab the cell reference handle here, drag it to the bottom, and it's going to copy the formula and its references. Now I'm going to copy formulas with an absolute cell reference. I'm going to select cell G1. G1. And inside of G1, I'm going to type change. I'm going to press enter and it's going to drop me down to G2. At G2, I'm going to type 1.1 and hit enter. This is going to be the cell that we reference. Next, I'm going to click inside of cell H3 and I'm going to key a heading that says what if and hit enter. Inside of cell H4, I'm going to begin with my formula. So that would be my equals. I'm going to select cell F4. I'm going to multiply it times G2 and then I'm going to select Enter. That gives me my formula. Next I'm going to drag the fill handle so that H4 through H11, so H4 through H11, and you'll notice when I did that that G changed as well. I did not need G to change. Now I'm going to click on H4. I'm going to hit the F2 or the Function 2 key on my keyboard. That changes me to Edit Mode. Then I'm going to press the Function 4 or F4 key, and that changes this to an absolute value. I'm going to click the Enter key, and I'm going to drag my Fill handle again. This time you'll notice that my values changed, but for each cell reference in F, each one was multiplied by G2. And you'll notice here in the formula bar that G2 now is referenced as dollar sign $G, dollar sign $2. That shows that it's an absolute cell reference.